Okay. The uniform stone has a mass of 500 kg and is held in the horizontal position using a wedge at B. A wedge at B. Then if the coefficient of friction, specifically the static friction mu sub S, is equal to 0 0.3 at the surface of contact. Surfaces of contact. So lahat ng in-contact body dyan uh, has a coefficient of friction of 0.3. Determine the minimum force P needed to remove the wedge. Assume that the stone does not slip at A. So, dito daw. What is the minimum P to move this wedge away? Okay. So, of course, we need to expose the uh, forces involved, no? Basically, the free body diagram. So, ang gagawin ko dito is uh, maybe we'll isolate these uh, forces, no? Yan. Isolate natin yan. Okay? Now, um, walang binigay na weight ng wedge. So, basically, we'll be um, neglecting the weight of the wedge na ito lang. Nasa friction, di ba, unang-una nating need to determine is the uh, motion, no? Tendency to motion. So, since we want to move this wedge away, so, titingnan natin una is yung ano yung papagalawin natin. So, we want to move this wedge. So, let's isolate this wedge muna. Then, uh, let's analyze the movement dito. Since we want to move this away, then the, the frictional resistance should be opposing the tendency of motion. No? So, the friction here, of course, uh, may contact to dito. Sa bla, uh, sa stone natin, um, that should be opposing the movement. No? So, by the way, we have here the normal reaction at C. Uh, I will just call this one as N sub C. Okay? Normal reaction. Then, ito naman yung normal reaction niya to B. D, ito, no? Yung point of contact niya sa ating stone above sa kanya. So, normal sa kanya, of course, yung reaction niya. Normal sa plane. Now, the friction, we need to establish the direction of the friction. So, again, it is moving to the right. So, the friction here at C should be opposing the movement. And of course, dito rin sa B. Okay? So, this will be the free body diagram natin sa wedge. No? Ito yung papagalawin natin. Now, kung i-transfer naman natin to, uh, dito sa um, stone, yung free body diagram natin, this NB is of course, by action-reaction, babalik tayo yung direction niya to the uh, stone. Ayan, no? Tuwad sa kanya yung NB or the normal reaction at B. Ito naman, uh, action-reaction din, babaliktad dito sa kabila. Okay, by the way, this NB should be uh, 7 degrees to the vertical siya, no? Uh, if this um, line here, ito, yung line na yan is 7 degrees to the horizontal, then the perpendicular sa kanya, which is the NB, should be 7 degrees to the vertical. Baliktad naman. Okay? Geometry. Again, this FB, baliktad na yung direction dito. Uh, the same magnitude but opposite in reaction. Action, reaction. Okay? Then, dito, um, for A, of course, may normal reaction din yan. Uh, establish muna natin ito yung weight, no? Of course, dadaan yan sa gitna by symmetry. Then, so 0.5 ito, yung, uh, I mean, yung location niya sa each end of this stone. For A naman, at point A, we have the normal reaction at A. And of course, now, if the friction here is going to the right, no? uh, look at the motion. Ito. Um, after this one move, this wedge, kung ito yung magiging friction dyan, hihilahin siya. No? Hihilahin, uh, this uh, frictional uh, force at B kasi yan yung magiging passive force niya. Uh, for which, this block will tend to move to the right trend. Tama, to the right. So, the frictional reaction at A uh, will be opposing this motion. Okay? And, obviously naman, kung itingnan natin yung equilibrium, kung walang ibang force na magpapamove dito, which is ito lang, yung FB, to the right, dapat may opposing force, which is, yan yung i-carry ng friction na A. Okay? So, ito yung medyo um, challenging dito, yung pag establish ng free body diagram natin because if mali yung direction then uh, hindi talaga natin makukuha yung tamang sagot. Okay? So again, um, yung principle is equilibrium lang talaga. Okay?
So, tawagin natin itong FBD1. Ito naman, FBD2. Alright? Now, kung di, um, we want to calculate this minimum P. So, dapat, we have these forces here, no? A take note, wala tayong NB, wala tayong NC. So, wala tayong makukuha dito. Doon tayo sa may given. Dito, we have the weight, of course. Uh, the given here is the mass, but we can calculate that one to weight, no? Multiply by the gravitational acceleration. So, after we have this weight, makukuha natin yung reaction dito by equilibrium, of course, no? Makuha natin dito. Uh, hindi naman talaga natin magagamit yung reaction ng A, no? Because we want just to calculate here, no? Ito yung transfer natin sa wedge. So, first, uh, makukuha natin yung reaction dito by, uh, again, free body diagram tayo, no? By equilibrium equation. Um, di ba? We have the formula of uh, the, the total reaction on the rough surface. The total reaction is equal to square root of, for example, for this one, the square root of FB squared plus NB squared. And yung total reaction dito is um, at an angle uh, Vs from the normal reaction. Okay? So, maybe, mas maganda yung solution dito if we resolve natin to, 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 to the total reaction, no? Yan. Let's just focus this first. I-calculate natin yung total reaction dyan. Tawagin ko siyang RB. Okay? And uh, this RB... Um, is Vs from tawag dito, Vs from the normal reaction. Okay, remember this one sa last discussion natin. Yung total reaction on the rough surface is Vs angle from the normal reaction. Okay? So, hindi pa natin alam ano yung Vs natin but we can calculate that, no? Now, we need to establish the direction of Rb. Okay. You open the math card. Yeah. Now, uh, let me have here muna. The mass, I mean the weight is equal to 500 kilogram. Okay. 500 kilogram times the gravity, no? Ano yung gravitational acceleration? 9.81 meter per second squared. So that's 4905 newtons. Uh, given the coefficient of friction, US is equal to 0 0.3. Okay? Now, um, let's calculate first the Vs. The Vs is equal to the arc tangent of US. Mm -hmm. uh, that's equal to in degrees, that's 16.699. Now, um, notice a figure natin, uh, this one is 7 degrees lang, no? So therefore, this RB is ilan? Ilan yung angle nito? Tawagin ko tong theta, no? That's theta is equal to Vs minus 7 degrees. So I need to calculate this theta para uh, mas simple yung analysis natin dito sa RB, no? Makuha natin yung horizontal and vertical reaction niya. Okay. So, by that, we can now have the theta is equals to the Vs minus 7 degrees. And that is equal to 9.699. Okay. Now, we can now isolate this one. Tanggalin na lang natin to. Ginawa lang natin, gi-resolve natin siya into isang reaction. Pwede rin, pwede rin gawin natin na si Fv is equals to mu s times nb. No? But uh, dalawang forces na yung involved dyan, no? Uh, of course, isang unknown lang, nb. Uh, mas mabuti, gawin natin siyang total reaction. Right? Then, let's isolate that one. So, magiging ito na lang. Yung dalawang forces, forces kanina, which is nb and fb, is equivalent to the force rb and the direction is theta from the vertical. Okay? Now, we can directly solve this RB summation of moment at A lang tayo. Tama? Summation of moment at A. Or pinakamadali, summation of, uh, look at this one. Since the weight, of course, will happen at the at the center or the centroid by symmetry, 
at A and the vertical component of this RB is just equal. Tama ba? Si NA and the vertical component of this RB is just equal. So, pinakamadali dyan, uh, by symmetry, by symmetry, we have um, NA is equals to is equals to RB RBY. Okay? The Y component of RB. Yan yung gagawin natin. Okay? But RB, we know that RBY dyan, uh, we have the theta RBY is equals to RB ano yung component? That should be cosine. Kasi nasa kanya yung angle. Cosine of theta. Okay, so basically, by summation of forces vertical, forces along y, or sabihin natin y, or vertical, equals to zero, okay, we can now have uh, the dalawang RBY, dalawang RBY, kasi NA and RBY is equal, minus W is equal to zero. Summation of forces vertical lang tayo. Okay, but RBY is equal to RB cosine of theta. Okay, so we can substitute this one. RBY is equals to RB cosine of theta um, minus W equal to zero. Okay, so we can now solve the RB first. Uh, let me just simplify this one. Yeah. Uh, this is our RB. Okay? So, ito yung i-transfer natin sa ating wedge. We'll be transferring this one sa wedge natin. So, balik natin. Ayan. Okay? So, we'll now focus on FBD2. Uh, by the way, let me just have this as uh, from FBD1. Okay, we're just focusing here in FBD1. Now, we will be focusing on FBD2. Okay, focus on FBD2. So, this RB, again, this NB and FB can be resolved into RB, no? So, itong RB na to, i-transfer natin sa other side. That one. Okay, so that is going to the... Um, upward, then at an angle theta to the vertical. Uh, ito naman, going downward at ang angle theta, so dito measured clock, uh, clockwise, so from here then, from the vertical, clockwise yung direction natin. Yan yung RB. Okay? So, we can neglect this, no? Pwede na natin ma-neglect yan kasi nga, ni-resolve natin siya into the total reaction. So, ito naman, mas mabuti rin, ni-resolve natin siya into total reaction RC. Okay? So, ito na yung titingnan natin. Ayan. So, we have the RB. Ang ano natin sa free body diagram 2 is just the P and the RC. Okay? Si P at si RC. Now, um, two, two equations to ano yung gagawin natin. Ha? By summation of force vertical and horizontal. Right? Unahin natin, summation, summation of forces horizontal or let's say X equal to Zero. Okay. So you have um, the P. P, then yung direction. Uh, munahin natin si RC. Minus RC. Mga unknown. The RC then, um, that's sine. Diba? The horizontal component of RC is sine of V. Okay. Sine of V. Um, minus pa rin, minus the RB. Then, equal, uh, RB, sine of theta. Okay? So, pwede natin itong gawin equation 1. Then, i-arrange natin so that the, the, the known or the constant term is to the right side of the equation para magamit natin yung calculator natin. Sine of P. 
uh, equal to RB uh, sine of theta. Serve as equation 1. Okay? Now, summation of force y naman tayo. Equal to 0. Okay? So, we don't have vertical component to P, no? So, diretso tayo, RC going upward, RC cosine of phi. RC cosine of phi, then, equal ko na lang siya, equal to the vertical component of RB. So, RB, uh, cosine of theta. Okay? I hope, ano, hindi na kayo nalilito sa pag-component. Yan. Okay, so two equations to unknown. We cannot use the calculator dito, no? Or pwede, substitute kayo dyan. Nagamitan ko na lang siya ng calculator para mas mabilis. Okay? So, unahin natin si equation 1. Mode uh, 5, equation, two equations to unknown. Now, it's equation 1. Uh, the coefficient of P is 1. The coefficient of RC is negative sine of uh, phi. Tama ba? Yung phi natin, ilang ba yung phi natin? 16 point something yun? Ha? Check ko lang yung phi. So, 16 point, uh, sabihin natin 16.7 na lang, no? 16.7 degrees. Okay? Then the next is, you know, uh, ito, RB sine theta. So RB is uh, 2488.065. 2488.065. Okay? Yan. Ano? 2488.065. Then my sine of theta pa yan. The sine of, ilan si theta? That's 9.7. 9.7. Okay? For equation 2, we don't have P here, so 0. Okay? Then RC, the coefficient of RC is cosine of P. Cosine of P. P is 16.7. Okay? Then to the right side of the equation, you have RB cosine of theta naman. So, RB is 2488.065 cosine of theta, which is 9.7 degrees. Okay? So, pressing equal, uh, ito yung P natin, 1154 point, uh, sabihin ko na lang 1155, no? Uh, the P, or so, that's the minimum P to move the block, no? That's 1155 newtons. Okay? Of course, we can calculate also the RC. That's 2560.2. Lagay na lang natin, RC is equals to 2561 na lang. 2561 newtons. Okay? But what it, what is as on the problem is the minimum P to move the block. Okay. Of course, if you want to calculate the the reaction or the frictional forces, makukuha mo na siya by uh, components, no? Pwede mo na siyang kunin by components kung gusto natin kunin yung frictional forces.